So welcome to Aachen. This is Sam Watson here from Ireland. I'm riding Ballyboulder Talisman. He's owned by my wife, Sparkles Watson, and my mother, Julia Watson. And uh, for me and for the horse, we leave the start box at Aachen for the first time ever. And here we come down to the first fence. It's a really special place, this venue. It's a venue that all riders in the world want to ride at. I've been lucky to be at, at Olympic Games and a World Championships and a European Championships, uh, but my first time at Aachen. And what we're looking for today from this horse, a young horse, his first time ever leaving Ireland, is we want him to have a really good experience. It's a nice big fence coming up here at fence two, and he takes it, and what I love to see is his ears are forward. You can see them just in the bottom of your screen here. He's looking where he's going, and he loves his job here. He really, really loves this phase. This is a nice opportunity. You can hear me there saying, whoa, a little bit, because the objective today is not to go as fast as we can. It's that he learns to relax in this phase. He has a lot of adrenaline because, as I say, he loves to jump these big jumps. It's another big one at fence three, and he's over it really well. But what we want to do is him to relax, even though he is doing this high adrenaline phase and now he needs to concentrate this is the first big question and he actually makes a little mistake here so you can hear that there's a little bit of contact on the fence it's not too bad but i have to keep up and keep my balance so that was quite a question we're going to see here on the slow motion it's like a roller coaster we go up the hills down the hills i actually make a decision to put in one extra stride there um, but look at his ears pricked he's really really enjoying it and I'm not asking him to go too fast, but I'm asking him to, to concentrate. Now, this is a big, spectacular fence as well. Really difficult corner. So this is a narrow gap to go through and it's on an angle. And now a big, big fence into the water as well. With a big drop down. We turn, we don't have much time to another big fence in the water. And this really is a lot for the horses to jump. And it comes up again really quickly, another fence. And now a little narrow one around the corner. And he's so good through there. I'm really, really pleased with what he's done. Now you get to see from the other angle. Look at this big drop coming into the water here. I've got to sit up straight away, get the, the canter going again to get some power to jump these big fences in the water. I've got to show him where the fence is. He's always looking for the next one with those ears forward. And then he sees it, but he's so happy to jump the fences. So now a little bit more time, and this is where, if we were in the position where we could win the class, this is a really good place to make up some time. I, again, I just want to keep him relaxed, so I'm letting him gallop along, but uh, as you can see, my speed there is getting up in the mid 600 meters per minute, uh, and we start to slow down now as we come around the turn, because this, again, is a big, big question, and not one that we see very often in the sport. This is quite spectacular. There's going to be a big jump up onto a bank, and then we've got to go through that owl hole. Here we go, and he's really good there. Bit of a roller coaster down, more fences coming up quickly. And these fences are quite wide. So this is really interesting. This is a tight turn back, and I lose a little bit of momentum, and that leaves me a little bit far off this fence here. And you can hear we make a bit of contact on the back, and there's a safety device that goes off there because we had that contact on the back of the fence. We're gonna see this from another angle here. He's got his head up looking at that fence. He's good with his footwork through there. But those safety devices in the sport, they're really, really useful. We got, a, we got 11 penalties uh, for making the contact there and the device becoming unclipped. Um, but it allows the horse to learn and to not be no punishment for, for hitting that fence too hard. Uh, he's, again, back happy and going. Uh, and we have a couple of penalties that we have to, to live with. Here we go. I think we're going to see this now. So it's this tight turn where you can lose your momentum. And he jumps in. Should be four strides. And I'm just a little far off. And he, he just looks a little bit when he's jumping. That is one of the biggest, scariest fences that you will see here in Aachen. Uh, a big, big wide ditch, but the horses don't really see it. It's just there to scare us riders. Whoa. Now we come into a big complex with a lot going on. We make him focus on the jump. And he's good. And a lot of 
ups and downs here. The course designer is really clever with how he uses the terrain. This is that big scary fence that I told you about with the ditch underneath. And now for me, when we walk this course, this was the most difficult fence on the course. We're going to come up the hill to this log, which is big. And now look at these angles. We've got to get our line nice and quickly. And he's really on good and honest through there. So you can hear me saying good boy to the horse because he knew his job there. But that comes up very, very quickly. And now down through another dip and up to another fence. You get a feel for the intensity of this course. It all happens very, very quickly. And you can see there on my back, that is a Wilbury Wonder Pony. We are always remembering Hannah Francis and her charity. She had a big battle with cancer and we always remember how strong she was and how amazing she was for this sport. And it's a really proud thing for us, own, for us riders to ride around here with a Wilbury on our back. Up here again through another undulation onto another mound over a fence. And now this horse is really starting to get into this, this round. Look how efficient and smooth he is through there. Now he's looking like a professional horse uh, who's established and ready at this level. Whereas in the beginning of the course, he made a couple of small mistakes. This is a big question. Look at the angles on these houses and a big drop into the water and a big fence coming out here. But again, now he feels to me like a horse that I've taken to the Olympic Games. He feels like a, a horse who knows the job. Look at him here. He wastes no time. He wants to get to the next fence all the, all the time. And I'm just sitting there uh, and just making sure I steer him in the right place. And that's what's pleased me so much. I've taken a, a first time championship horse here to Aachen. And now I'm riding through some really difficult fences with a horse who's really knowing what he's doing. Look at this. That's perfect from the horse. Perfect from him. So now into the main arena. There's just about 30 seconds left to go. Those people looking to win the competition at the end of the class, they'll be really counting down the seconds as they come through here. And we've still got a lot left to jump because there's a big jump into the water here. In we go and we turn and then just the last combination and then the last fence and here I'm trying to get myself to concentrate and the horse to concentrate here's another very narrow fence turn on four strides to another very narrow fence and there's the finish where my wife sparkles who's been amazing helping us through the week making this horse look lovely she's there waiting for us and it's a lovely moment to finish here at Aachen with a happy horse and a really confident horse